Uh, I'm going to do a video on gang stalking. Really, this hasn't been a, a real big issue in my life uh, for a little while because uh, I, I found out the, the root cause of it, how it happens, uh, how it works. Um, basically, uh, if you are covered in the blood of Jesus Christ, you aren't affected on uh, certain aspects of gang stalking uh, if they have targeted you and they want to really mess with you on a carnal level what they do is they go to your neighbors and uh, things are so compartmentalized in the government um, they are able to separate people and they're able to lie about you to, to your neighbors to get your neighbors to watch you um, and that's one of the ways they do it, and, you know, the following you around, uh, that, sometimes, uh, sometimes that's witchcraft, sometimes it is actually, uh, somebody actually following you. Um, the witchcraft aspect, uh, you can be walking down the street, and everywhere you go, people are looking at you it's it's a whole nother dimension that that somehow you enter into and everywhere you go they're there and if you're not covered in the blood of Jesus Christ you're you're affected by this it, it the witchcraft works on you um I was having gang stock and happened to me for years and I obviously had the blood of Christ on me and just didn't know it because I, I, in the past I had accepted Christ, but I hadn't take it, taken it seriously or, or you know, I, I wasn't doing anything with it. And so the witchcraft wasn't affecting me. Um, but then once, once I did something to take that covering off of me, which was, uh, I started to practice magic. I, you know, my life was going down downhill. I didn't think to turn to God for this. Uh, and I thought, you know, well, if I do some witchcraft or something like that, you know, I can change the outcome of things in my life. And uh, all that did was take my covering off. And so uh, my gang stalking got so bad um, that, that they got me to jump off a bridge to avoid whatever it is that they were telling me that they were going to do to me. They were beaming voices into my head. It's demonic. Yeah, they use uh, technology on you, but it, it's it's microwaves, and it's, you know, it's really sick stuff. Uh, you know, the, the things that they do to people is absolutely illegal, and, and, and it's illegal in God's court as well. So these people are going to, they're going to pay heavily for doing this to people. They were doing it back in, in the Bible days. If you look in Psalms, uh, David was constantly talking about, you know, people setting up traps for him, following him. And, uh, you know, so this is not a new thing. This is just something that has gotten a term put on it called gang stalking. Um, now, I just want to say that in my life, uh, they still do things to me. I, I don't let it get to me, you know, because I, I just kind of laugh at it because I know what it is. And I know, I know how serious the protection around me is. I, I know this for a fact. I am absolutely 100,000 million percent sure of my protection. Um, and, you know, so if you're experiencing this and you're not, covered in the blood of Jesus Christ, I promise you this is the absolute, mm, cuts it off, man, over, done with, it, they may be able to do things things to you here and there, but another thing I wanted to say was that, that some of my gang stalkers, uh, things are happening to them, and uh, their lives are, are affected by it, and, you know, especially today, it's Friday the 13th, and it's not an unlucky day for me, but for them, it's not, not turning out such a good day. Uh, just, yeah, I'll just put it like that. Uh, you know, yesterday, uh, when I noticed a little bit of some of this happening around me, um, 
you know, I said out loud, you know, is that the best you can do? And right then, I get this uh, email on my phone saying, um, you know, uh, you're a nut, you're crazy, gang stalking, uh, it has nothing to do with the blood of Jesus Christ, none of this. And, and this guy went on and on, and it was just from a comment that I made months and months ago. And, you know, and I, I commented back to the, it was, it was months and months ago, I watched a video and I commented that, you know, maybe you pissed a witch off or it has to do with your bloodline. And this guy starts uh, commenting to me and trying to start problems with me over something I commented on months ago. And I, you know, I expressed to him, I said, right now, you're a gang stalker. You don't even know that you're being used by Satan to attack me. And it has it has everything to do with the government and their technology, yes, but it's demonic. And he went back and forth, and, and by the end of it, he was telling me I was just like some bitch that cries rape whenever, you know, and, and, and I basically, you know, just, just uh, you know, emailed the guy back and said, look, you know, I'm just now able to walk again, and gang stalking nearly killed me. They tried to murder me over and over, and I didn't even know why this was happening, but it was happening. And, you know, God's using me as an example to them that you don't mess with his children. You absolutely do not do that. And, and you know, I'm just here to let you know that it is witchcraft. That it, there is technology involved. The government is doing it, but the person running the government is Satan. These people worship Satan. And the biggest gang stalking that I started noticing was after uh, I noticed people from Jehovah's Witnesses were getting busted for pedophilia, and I found out that they were Satanists. Well, my family's Jehovah's Witness, and the, I noticed the, the heaviest amount of gang stalking in my life and when they actually started trying to kill me was when I mentioned the word pedophile and Satanist. Okay? Those were the two words that did it. And I'm telling you, the people that run the government, this is what powers them. It's pedophilia, murder, Satanism. Bottom line, they do everything that is against God. They follow His children, because they know before you know that you're going to get saved. Somehow, some way, through the ether. They know this stuff. It's demonic. They, they know. They know from your birth that you're going to be saved. And they have been, like for me, they've been trying to kill me my whole life. And, you know, after I got saved and started getting a you know personal relationship with the Lord, he started showing me over and over and over where my life had been in danger and I didn't even know it. Many a times my life was in danger and it was this close. And, uh, you know, and I'm like, oh, I'm lucky. Everybody say, yeah, Rob, you're real lucky. Well, I didn't realize, man, I had angelic protection around me my whole life because of who I am. And... To all y'all out there who have this problem, uh, pray it off. Ask for protection from God. Pray it off. Don't let it affect you. When little things happen around you, that's about the best they can do to affect you. The little bitty things. They can steal little things out of your house, move some stuff, but they cannot. They can't kill you if you're covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. Not unless God gives them. They have to legally go to God in court. And ask God, can I kill him? And God has to be ready to bring you home. You have to be living in some crazy sin or doing some stuff you're not, you know you're not supposed to be doing for them to get legal rights to kill you. And I'm telling you, this is, this is the real, real stuff, man. I know what I'm talking about. I've been experiencing, experiencing this my whole life. And I know. And I wouldn't, I, I'm not a liar. I will put my hand on the Bible and testify this right now. I'm not a liar. This is real, and uh, they will suffer huge, huge consequences for this. Maybe not in this life right now. Maybe they will. Who knows? 
God may may just start making their cars not start, or or making them wake up across town away from their cars, uh, kind of like my neighbors this morning, you know. And I'm not laughing at them, but you know, when 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 they pay you to watch me and all this stuff, God doesn't like it. He doesn't like that you're that 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 you know they're affecting me in that way. But it doesn't it doesn't bother me because you know well I'll help you get your car started or whatever. But I know what's happening. And anyway, uh, Jesus Christ loves you. He died for your sins. And accept him and just roll with it. Because times are short. I promise you that. Times are short. You know, this world is coming to some kind of fruition. I can't give a time stamp on it or anything like that. But, you know, anybody who's a saint, anybody who's a watcher, will tell you that, that, yeah, Jesus is, he's calling his watchers, he's calling his army in, and, uh, he's waking people up, so, wake up, realize that, uh, it's everywhere, it's everybody, it can be anybody, it doesn't matter, they may not even know they're doing it, but, just, that's why, that's why God says, do not judge, and to love your neighbor and love your enemy, because half the time, he don't even know he's doing it, just like the guy that was emailing me, he didn't know he was being used as a gang stalker, but that's how it works. It's pretty pretty smart on Satan's end, I think. You know, I mean, crafty and devious, you know. Not smart, but, you know, crafty and devious. Anyway, I love you. Have a good day. Bye.